Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Today we are talking about the brand new update 0.8.2. So we've gone from 1 to 2. And with it, it's brought a big change, something that we haven't seen in beta first. And also indications of, uh, you know, well, they're dropping different content that they haven't had in the beta that may be down the line when it comes out globally. A, that they're going to see, we're going to see something extra added when it comes out globally but then also that they probably have things in the works if you are making a game that you want to last for a long time you know evidence set shows that you might you have to make regular changes different it can be small but if you do that the game will hold on to their audience a lot better and you know this kind of probably get for me this gives us a sign that well they're not giving us everything they might be holding some stuff back and then bush will get some better stuff i'm gonna just go off this. I've been reminded how to change this in the settings. You can stop it from going. Je, je, je. Uh, I think it's trace. No, or like map, map camera idle. I think that's it. Yeah, map camera idle. <laughs> no, it's this straightforward. But so we've got some pretty good changes in that. We're going to be going through that and then all of the you know breakdown of what else has changed. But the main thing, and you will have seen it uh, if you follow me on Twitter. I've already posted some pictures. But we have this, a brand new camera so the, the missing part of our ministry idea is is that we didn't have a picture it's the only thing that was locked profession is locked until you're at level six but this was something that even people in beta couldn't access so it's basically a snapchat i don't know which camera to look into i'll look into this one so it's basically a snapchat for harry potter so it uses the same kind of technology that allows you to place objects in the correct position and it's really accurate so I can go like you know, I can I can headbang and it'll always maybe every now and then it might disappear if we go too fast and it's pretty good it's pretty stable we can add things like her Harry Potter scar which is pretty cool how it just stays in the same position that's some pretty cool technology um, we have different features so we have glasses so I can take these off now because I don't need them because I can change my profile to some Potter glasses or I can go for a bit of Dumbledore. They are very Dumbledore-esque. And then these are Professor Trelawney, right? I can tell. <laughs> Let me look into my tea and see. I'm sorry. You're going to die, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> joking, joking. Just a normal cup of tea, guys. So we also have things that can be unlocked. So it says you've got to unlock this at level 15 for, you do get some previews within some of them. So obviously it's like my eyes are a little bit dark. And then you've got a randomizer, which can give you things. But then also in the bottom, we've got scarfs. So Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Scarf. They're pretty cool, very accurate again. We've got some different outfits that we can put on and you know you also can unlock different ones along the line so at level two you unlock Newt Scamander got two arms <laughs> um, that doesn't work out right but I could be Newt Scamander with Dumbledore's glasses if I wanted I could have Hagrid's beard oh hurry it's not that's not Dumbledore's beard it's Hagrid's beard and I could be a Gryffindor Quidditch player, just like Harry Potter. So we've got some pretty cool additions, and you know, just like Snapshot, that Snapchat, they're probably going to be adding things to this. They're probably going to be making it so that there are other things that you can lock. So some of the locked ones that we didn't view in here. So you get to preview them. You can't take pictures of them. Uh, this one costs six hundred for a lion on my head. Pretty badass. Um, Others just seem to unlock at different levels, which is really cool that these things are going to be free, most of them. You don't have to... <laughs> wow. Is, is that Bellatrix hair? Look like Amy Winehouse. And that's some Snape hair, isn't it? <laughs> Harry Potter, there seems to be Harry Potter wandering around. <laughs> oh, we can be a Death Eater. That's pretty cool. Uh, and once we go, once we've selected what we wanted, so let's say I just go for a plain Harry Potter glasses and a scar. I can now take a picture. It just looks like me looking at my camera. 
<laughs> but once you've done this, you can add things to it. So you can add effects. So we've got you know black and white, sepia, and we've got this crazy mystical one, which costs 300 to unlock. Um, we have glyph all the different houses. They're pretty cool. So we have Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, again Ravenclaw and Slytherin, little backgrounds. We can also add things like the Daily Prophet, be the uh, the first one you recruit signs on. And lockables are this, okay, so we've got some billy wigs flying around, some flowers, and we've got a, a, a frame as in like, uh, that you'd get in, in Hogwarts. Us going after a snitch. I realize my face doesn't move anymore. Um, have you seen this witch? So wanted poster or wizard. That's very good to see that they've allowed witch and wizard. And the final one, if you get to level 50, wow. Level 50, you get to make yourself into a chocolate frog card. That's pretty cool. We've also got some other additions. So we can cross off that. Uh, I believe you've got to go for none and then you can so that's the space effects. The final ones are these. You can add stickers to them. So these are both. You can have ones that are kind of stationary, but also ones that are moving around. So like Akio, um, you can see our owl. Some of them are unlockable. Um, so for example, let's see if I want to be head boy. I need to unlock at level 22. Lumos, 17, level 30 and level 25. So with this, there's different ones that we unlock for leveling up. So it's nice to see that you get rewards for leveling up other than your, your general stuff that you get in Pokemon Go. Obviously your um, things like incubators. You're gonna get some extra things that are nice to add on. Now, some people have been asking on Reddit. Um, so your, your your photo can change. You can take photos and you, well, you can share these as well, by the way. You can share them across your social media fairly easily and you can download them to your um, to your phone so we can see last portrait what it was what if you saved one stock photos um, that you can have and the gallery which is not currently available in the gallery and what we're going to see is 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 what a lot of people are wondering is whether this picture that you can take is in some way going to affect your avatar so I agree with this. The avatar in the game currently is based on your house in terms of color. I think it's purple when you first start. Um, my problem with this is that I quite like to have a unique avatar. I'm actually not gonna be looking in my portrait very often. I'll be using it to take some cool pictures with, but most of us aren't really, once we've completed the ministry ID, aren't gonna be going to it that often and other people can't see it. But it may be that a feature, you know, going on, we, what we might see is that a friend's feature where you can view other people's profile pictures. That would be pretty cool to see. That might be something that we get in the future. And, but I really would like to see some customizations for your avatar as well. Just like in Pokemon Go, you can, you know, unlock things at certain uh, stages. Once you beat so many, you know, walk so many kilometers, catch so many of a certain type, you can unlock features that allow you to wear them. And also during events, you can buy special ones. And I'd like to see the same thing happening in within Harry Potter. I, I don't think this, being it's from Niantic, I don't think this is something that they're, they've overlooked. I think we're probably gonna be getting something. So I wouldn't worry too much about not having that yet in the game. And again, might be something that we get in full beta. So apart from that, we've got some minor updates. So big shout out to uh, HP Wizards Unite underscore phases on Reddit, who has posted some of the details around 0.8. So we've got some new features, obviously the ministry ID and social sharing aspect of the game. But we've also got some minor updates to the game itself. So they've added a new daily task of using one potion and a new daily task for testing uh, win one wizarding challenge as a daily task. This is a test, so please share your feedback on this edition. So they're gonna be asking for feedback from beta uh, on those extra tasks. We've got increased gold reward when completing all daily tasks. This is really nice to see. Gold is gonna be a good resource in this game to you know, purchase some of the add-ons that you're gonna to need to like dark detectors, your equivalent for like your incubators and lucky eggs. Those things are gonna require gold. And as I went through the leveling system, I noticed there wasn't a lot of gold that had been given out. So it's really good to see that there's free ways of gaining gold through you know completing tasks. 
Wizarding challenges also change, so they've decreased the waiting time on starting your first challenge from 30 seconds to 7 seconds, and they've decreased all wait times on starting challenges from 30 seconds to 15 seconds. So it'll probably make it a little bit more comfortable to play, you're not waiting too long. And they also have reduced the amount of challenge family experience needed to open challenge trunks, increased the amount of challenge family XP awarded when playing with more teammates from 10% to 25%, and a second player increases challenge family experience by 25%, a third by 50%, and a fourth by 75%, and finally a fifth by 100%. And on top of that, we have Diagon Alley. Some prices in Diagon Alley have been reduced. Again, you know, on top of the gold uh, rewards, this is good to see that it's not going to cost you as much. They are quite expensive in relation to how much, you know, you're paying to get the gold. So it's good to see that that's changed. Potions, they've increased the strength of potent Estimolo potions. You should now see the threat meter decrease even more when you actually use this potion. And known issues, Ministry ID portraits, certain Android devices may experience a black scene when selecting a lens. Uh, so it's a known issue that they are working on just to kind of stop people from you know, sending in feedback. They're aware of it, they're trying to fix it. Apart from that, that's everything in relation to the game. You'll have noticed, if you did notice my video yesterday, that I've taken down a video uh, related to the release date. This is not because it was wrong, <laughs> this is because it was probably right. So the person who shared this clearly wasn't meant to share the release date and took their Facebook post, their Facebook post down and took the next step of uh, putting a uh, complaint in for every other's video. It's not really a complaint, but a, a request to take down because it, you know, held some of their private information, which is their account on Facebook in a group. And um, so I get, I respect that. I've deleted my video. Uh, it's, it's not going to come under review. Then there's no point. But what does it say about the release date? It means it's probably true. It means we're probably going to be getting UK release, global or potentially global, on the 20th of June. Why would he? of asked to put it down. The guy put it up there, clearly he saw something, heard something he wasn't meant to hear. They've said, you need to take that down because it was private and they've taken it down. It's, it's like when they did that, there was a Harry Potter RPG leak um, so as they were testing, uh, getting feedback from people and it leaked and nobody knew if it was completely real and then Warner Brother, you know, copyright strike from loads of channels and it was taken down so quickly. Things like that just confirm that these things are, are are in the works and they're legit. So I have every confidence now that 20th of June is gonna be the date that in UK at least, we're gonna be getting Wizards Unite. Rest assured, when any extra information comes out, when we get a full confirmation of that, I'll be putting it on the channel, so make sure to look out for that in future. So all for this one, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like button and hit subscribe if you can keep up to date with future content. That's all for me. See you guys soon.